Well, we're, we're living in a world of what I call real politic, where, where governments um, uh, will say one thing publicly to their own people about how they are uh, upset about human rights violations in places like Russia and Syria and, and so on. And then they'll do an entirely different thing in order not to upset countries like Russia. And um, the Magnitsky case has now sort of reached a pinnacle of forcing governments into awkward positions where they have to sort of expose themselves. And um, the, the, the Russian government has made it absolutely clear, and Putin has even said so, that, that the Magnitsky affair um, should not be discussed outside of Russia. It's an internal affair of Russia. And, um, and uh, making it very clear that any foreign government that does will upset them. And the European Union um, expressed their own um, opinion on this a few days before the summit where um, an official from the European Union um, said on the record that um, uh, we're upset about the Magnitsky story, but it's an internal affair of Russia. Um, well, I should point out that, that, that in today's modern age, after the signing of the Helsinki Accords, um, there's no such thing as human rights being an internal affair of any country, and certainly not of Russia. Um, however, what we saw at the, at the summit was that they didn't bring up the Magnitsky case, and it's a very strong demonstration that the EU is, is operating um, not in the interests of human rights, but in real politic. And, and uh, we're going to certainly make sure that, that um, the people who are taking that position are shamed for taking that position. When, when we first started to advocate for the Magnitsky law in the United States, um, everybody told us that it was, there's no chance of it happening at all. The United States government, and Barack Obama in particular, were pursuing what they called the reset strategy to essentially reset relations with Russia. Um, some might describe it more as an appeasement strategy um, than reset, but whatever. Um, however, what we discovered was that the power of the, of the story about Sergei Magnitsky, the, the um, shock and, and outrage about the way the Russians were, were trying to cover up his murder, um, led to such a moral indignation among the lawmakers in America that the moral indignation of the lawmakers overcame the um, appeasement strategy of the U.S. government, and eventually the Magnitsky Law was passed. We have the same set of issues in Europe. Um, it's a little bit more complicated because you have more countries involved. But at the same time, in a certain way, the members of the European Parliament um, uh, are just as easily and just as enthusiastically supporting the Magnitsky Act as they were in the U.S. Congress. And so it's just a matter of time and a matter of strategy to find the way to make this thing happen. Um, well, I, I, should, I should start out by saying um, to Mikhail that um, uh, I apologize for, for um, uh, in any way supporting the, the way in which Putin has victimized him. It's, uh, it's a shocking travesty of justice the way he has been persecuted and re-persecuted in, in the most obvious and unpleasant way. Um, I, I, um, I had a problem with, with uh, oligarchs as a general class, and I thought that there was going to be some type of taming of the oligarchs in, in the uh, beginning of the Putin era. What I didn't understand was that it was a, an attempt for Putin to become the biggest oligarch and to steal from anyone else who had any success, and he um, did it in, in the most vociferous way towards Michael Hordakovsky and, and um, Whatever public statements I made in the past, I completely um, withdraw, um, and I'm fully on his side in, in being released and um, having uh, uh, been totally victimized by this regime. The situation in Russia um, reminds me of, of some of the history books that I've read about Nazi Germany. Um, the, in the early days of, of the Nazi regime, when they started going after certain people, um, uh, people said, oh, that guy, he was, he deserved it, he must have done some, you know, he must have irritated the regime. Oh, that guy, he, uh, he, um, he was a criminal. This guy, he was this, he was that. And step by step by step, um, they went after everybody. And, and the psychology of, of um, people towards Russia has been the same, which is, you know, first Hordakovsky, they, they said, well, you know, oligarch. Uh, then they went after me, and they said, well, you know, he was exposing corruption. And then they go after somebody else. And pretty soon, Sergei Guryev. I mean, Sergei Guryev has done, he, he, was, he was a member of the inside regime. He just happened to do one thing wrong, which was supporting Michael Hordakovsky in terms of 
and not even supporting Michael Hordakovsky, just analyzing the court case and, and finding it to be completely deficient. And so, um, uh, what, what conclusions does the West come to from this? Mm -hmm. the, um, probably not a definitive conclusion. There's still people that are saying, well, that Guriev, he, you know, he shouldn't have got involved with the opposition, you know, or something like that. But, uh, but in the end, um, eventually everyone's going to understand that it's, it's, it's like Nazi Germany when they were going after the Jews, or it's like Stalin, where, where eventually they went after everybody, including Beria. I, I would be surprised if they didn't go after Hordakovsky and Lebedev. Um, uh, I, as, as the um, days tick by towards the release of Hordakovsky and Lebedev, I, I know what kind of man Putin is. He's a vindictive little man who, who's completely afraid of anybody who's his enemy, and particularly his enemies who have been empowered the way that um, Michael Hordakovsky has been empowered by, by um, 10 years of, of prison. And I don't think that Putin has any capacity in his own his own psychology being a scared little man um, to accept Horkovsky's release. And that's, um, and so if, if they were not to do a third case against Horkovsky, that would be more surprising than, than the fact that they would do it.